Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I am here to share the Studio Calico kit for, Traveler's Notebook kit for October. And um, I will, let me see if I can center this a little bit better. I was gonna tell you what I do with all, everything in here. I keep the envelope that it comes in. This cardboard envelope is real sturdy, really sturdy. And I use it to ship, and usually I've used them all to ship items from my Etsy shop. They, um, you know, I don't have to worry about things getting bent in here if I'm shipping a paper item. So that's what I use um, that for. I reuse it. And I use, um, I love these um, clear pockets that, you know, are great for storage and organization. And I can see what's in there. And then as we go through, I'll tell you if I, there's something I reuse uh, from the kits and what I do with them. But we'll just go through the Traveler's Notebook real quick. I'm just going to flip through. Um, I, uh, I'll tell you the pages I love. And the rest of it is just, um, you know, okay. And um, I've kind of felt that way about all of the Traveler's no Notebook kit notebooks that I've gotten so far. So I don't want to say anything bad about any of the pages, but I'll just tell you the ones I love. How, how about if we leave it at that? <laughs> So you just watch and make up your own um, opinion about them. I will tell you that I'm going to be taking this apart. They, um, they fasten it with two staples, so that's good. I can take it apart and make it my own. So I'm going to take this one apart, and I'm going to try to use some of the pages from inside that I love. I mean, I like this one, but um, there's some pages inside that I love. So I kind of want to redo it and... Yeah, and give it pages I love. I mean, I, and I probably will add my own pages too. That's what I did with July. I redid it. I added pages and pockets and flip ups, and it's in my Etsy shop. Um, August, I added things to the cover because the cover needed more. It um, was dark and it didn't seem to go with August. Summery, you know, pretty bright colors. So I had to um, liven it up. And I added some things to the cover, and that one's in my Etsy shop with some of the Studio Calico goodies. So this one, I'm going to do the same thing, take it apart, redo it, and uh, make it, you know, my style. So uh, that's the cover, inside first page. And I'll just let you flip through. Um, I think the cover, I mean the colors that are coming through on the camera are pretty true. Um, this was graph and this is white, i just tell you that. And pretty much every other page is graph paper. I'm trying to see, it looks like this is trying to be blurry, not sure why. I got a new phone and I, I video on my phone. So I don't know if it's, I think it's trying to be blurry. Why, why are you trying to be blurry? It might be trying to be blurry because I don't have internet right now. <laughs> And it's not connected well. Let me see. Let's see if I can get closer and let's see if it's, yeah, I think it's clear there. Okay, I might have to just make you a little closer. Let me put you down a little bit more. Okay, there. That looks better. Okay, sorry. I usually don't have a problem with moving my camera. I don't usually have to move my camera around. But we don't have um, a Wi-Fi, internet. It's not back from the, you know, we locked, lost our electric, electric from the hurricane, and our Wi-Fi and uh, and internet's not back yet. We we don't have internet, so hopefully this will be okay on my phone though. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna really say the colors because you can see and. I just want to do a quick flip through graph and like I said tell you the pages I love and that says all I need is blank blank and blank <laughs> so there's some graph some stripes graph over here uh, dots and graph there's a little bit of a shadow there and I guess that's from my stand. I don't know what that shadow is from. Oh, you know what? That's probably from the light overhead. Just the um, fixture itself is creating a shadow a little bit. So um, there you go. 
dots. We've got autumn leaves on these two white pages. Okay, and more dots with some little bit of color there. White polka dot, white with black polka dots, graph paper, labels. Okay, this is the page, one of the pages I love. I love labels, so this is cool. Graph over here, and this is another page that I love. I wish all the pages were more like these two. Graph. This one I love. You are golden. I like the colors there. I love the colors there. This one I absolutely love with the um it's like a ledger paper with um sorry about the ums, but colorful dots. And this one is next. This is currently blank, but wishing I were blank instead. Graph, some like dashes that go down the page in different colors. Graph, pink with um, red polka dots. And uh, I like that one a lot. This one I love, more like ledger type look with the gold lettering, heart of gold. That's cool. This is uh, kind of little twigs with flowers and with a pinky, pinky background and a pinky, darker pink dots and the flowers have a pink bud on them. Graph over here, Day, daily highlight, it says right here and then we've got gray and white the graph. A patterned page kind of greenish look white and graph there you have it that's this month October's traveler's notebook okay and the rest of the stuff I really do love um, let me see what do we have we have a little um, there we go I'm um, again house a notepad in the shape of a house and it's got uh, colorful dots on it so that is very useful for me and most people probably can use this for note taking of course and I'll use it for putting little um, you know using these to put in the pockets and envelopes and you know goodie bags for my journals that I send out and um, this will be handy in my own journaling and in uh, using in my junk journals that I make uh, it's uh, the stamp set that came with this month's kit, and we've got a banner with lines, dots on this one. This one says home, and this one says good things are happening. So I love this one right here, and they're all very cool. And what I do with all the little plastic bags is I save them and use them to ship things in my shop. Um, I reuse all of these. I like repurposing and not throwing things in the trash. So like all of these came with the kit with things in them. So I put those all in my uh, shipping section that I have uh, organized. And just when I need a little bag, I look through and find one that is appropriate for what I'm shipping out. And I just reuse those. So those are great little bags to reuse. Um, let's see, but next I'll show you these two sticker sheets were in one of those bags. They're both the same and they're like little strip stickers and let me show you them right side up for you. Um, they are, let's see, they have words and there's some that are blank and this one is my favorite right here. It has, looks like notebook paper <laughs> and that is really cool. I love that and it's like blue and red lines so very cool. So... Sometimes when I read you the Traveler's Notebook kit, you know, inserts from Studio Calico, I will include some of the Studio Calico goodies with that kit in my shop for that listing. So this is the other two sticker sheets. And I love these because these are more up my alley. I like the little notebook paper one here. And then I just like the little circles and the banners, I think. Those are just more like what I like to use. So these are really cool. I love those. 
Um, I do reuse the glassine bags and put also like using this goodie bags for um, the surprise goodies I send out with my journal. So I do reuse those and those are a nice, um, I have some other glassing bags that are smaller and those are bigger so that's cool because that's a size I don't have on hand. So when I get those, I keep those and reuse those. Now these came in a little bag, that little bag I showed you, and they're little leaves. These are very cool. I like, I love the colors and they're little leaf stickers and they look, um, I don't know what they're made of, but they feel and look like leather. So very pretty and very cool. I can't wait to use those. And those are just awesome. I love those. Love, love, love those. <laughs> oh, there's a little bag. And then let's see, this is not the last. This is the washi. It's copper colored. And Studio Calico does have very high quality washi. It sticks good. And this is going to be really pretty on um, a layout or, you know, holding something together or whatever, you know, you use washi for. And then this is something else that I love, love, love. And I'm something different that I haven't gotten in any other two kits that I got from Studio Calico. I skipped September. So um, these are little sticker stamps or stamp stickers. <laughs> And they are actually, uh, let me take one off for you. They are actually um, kind of jagged on the edges, just like a stamp. So I thought that was really cool. And you know, they're not just smooth like a uh, sticker. They actually made them jagged on the edges to look like a stamp. So that's very cool. And I love using stamps. So I'll be using all of those and in my journals and that I make and sell. And uh, I collect used stamps, so this is really great. There's one with a rooster here, and there's one, the, you know, some of them say the cents. This says three and a half, this says three cents, there's two, there's 15, and just all kind of cute little pictures on here. Just kind of, and they're kind of vintagey looking, so. There's a, there's a carousel, um, there's an artist painting a picture, a little ship, just really cool little pictures, and I'm trying to see if they're all different. They look like they're all different. No two the same, I don't think. I don't think, yeah. Wow, that's really cool because they're all different. So that's awesome. I love, love, love that. So... That's it, and I hope you enjoyed the little flip through and the walk through. And uh, uh, just look for this in my shop. And if you have any questions about Studio Calico, um, I've been getting it for three months. I kind of have looked into all their rules, and um, I'll be glad to answer any questions. I've looked into their rules about their subscription. I've got a 12 month subscription, and I've looked into their cancellation policies. And so, you know, I can let you know if, you know, you need an answer to a question. I can try to answer it, answer it from my experience so far. So just let me know and I will talk to y'all later. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.